Hi, I'm Mark from Wedge Clamp Systems. Today we're going to review the CMO RVEP 02 Riveter, um, manufactured in Italy. Um, this is the Ford approved uh, uh, Riveter, uh, which is part of the Ro Rotunda program. It includes a main case, oh, main case which includes the Riveter. Pull this guy out here for you. Big riveter with the 40 millimeter C head, a battery charger, and then a generic set of dies and extractors. And then it also includes the 120 millimeter C arm and the Ford specific uh, die kit and again the extractor kit. One thing I've noticed on the two kits is that there are some dies and extractors that are similar in both kits, but Ford has its own specific set of um, dies and magnet and, and extractors that they uh, require. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this over here and I'm going to uh, go over and review the actual riveter itself. So on the Riveter, so this is again, this is the, comes with the standard kit is the 40 millimeter C arm. To take the C arms off, there's a magnetic pin that just comes out and it's, it's actually magnetic. So it just sticks to here. It helps uh, you know, reduce falling on the floor and, and losing that. Um, and then what you do is you just pull the C arms off. Okay. And then they just slide back on. Before you put it on, just so you know, there's a little notch here in the bottom and that's when it goes through the hole on the C-arm, it actually fits right into that little notch here. It holds it in place. So to put it right back in, we find the notch and that's how that gets put back on. Then there's also a, a reverse button. So if you're manually using the riveter and, and you want to make, you want to pull that pin back, you can just press that reverse button and it pulls the pin back. Then there's the settings, different settings for different uh, requirements and different pressures of, of rivets. Um, I always set it on the A, which is the automatic setting. So you would hold it all the way down and keep your finger on it until it, it places the rivet and then releases on its own. Um, battery, um, removable battery. And there's also on the battery, there's a battery indicator. You press the button and it shows how much power is uh, currently in the battery so we can make sure that you're not uh, putting it back in the case discharged and it's ready to go for the next shot. Um, and also the, the replacement battery I found is a um, is the same battery as a Milwaukee battery. So they're uh, very accessible. So what I want to do is I'm going to actually place um, one of the dies in here and the magnets and just show you and we'll, we'll pop it into uh, some aluminum here. So basically on the, the pin side, you would put the magnet uh, fitting. And what you would have to do is you just push it out a little bit. On the back side of this pin is an Allen key. So we just place that in there. There's an Allen key in each of the die kits. You just tighten that like that. And then on this side, we would put the rivet die itself, depending on the die that you need for the job that you're trying to do. We'd slide that in there. And again, we would just tighten that pin on this side and that holds it in place. Then what we do is we get a rivet and they just stick right on the magnet there. So it's held in place on here. And if you can imagine if we we're, we got a couple of pieces of aluminum here. If this was your box side, and you get underneath in the box side and, and uh, you place it. You hold it down until it places the rivet and don't let it go. It will release automatically as, it, as I've got it set on A and then it places and it pulls back the, the pin and it places its, its rivet. So now you can see it's created a flush, uh, flush rivet in there and then it's uh, nice actually on the back side it's, it's uh, uh, placed in there as well and obviously it's created the two panels together. Now to extract it what we would do is we would remove the die, place that back there and I'm just gonna pull the magnet out. That in 
there. Um, so what you would do is you replace the pin. So on the extractors, there's a pin side and there's a, um, a dump side. So basically what it does is it pushes the rivet out from the back side, the inside of the rivet, and it pushes it into the receiving fitting. So we would put this one, the pin side is on the C arm. Just tighten that. And then the receiving side goes on the drive pin side. Take that one. And then what you would do is you get inside and, and again, let's keep it in there, keep it in there, um, keep it in there until it is, um, until it is, uh, uh, all the way pressed down and automatically releases itself. And here it released it, pushes it in, extracts it. And we're gonna hold it all the way down until it releases itself. Okay, and that's what you would do. And then pulls the two pieces apart. So that's it, that's how it works. Uh, pretty basic, pretty simple uh, to use. Um, if you have any questions, please reach out to us at Wedge Clamp Systems at 604-207-9595. Thank you.